Hello, I'm Bill Pop, President and CEO of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation. This video is part of a series that breaks down AEDC's 2022 three-year outlook report. Thank you to McKinley Alaska Private Investment, LLC, and North Rim Bank for sponsoring this video series. In this episode, we'll talk about population. Now let's take a closer look at one challenge facing our city in the coming decade, Anchorage's population. The number of people living in Anchorage declined by 1,550 between 2020 and 2021, marking a fifth consecutive year of decline. Net out-migration remains the key driver of population loss in Anchorage. Migration to and from Anchorage slowed between 2020 and 2021, likely related to uncertainty surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. Now let's dive into some of the factors that continue to shape Anchorage's population. Between 2015 and 2020, an annual average of 25,000 people left Anchorage, while only 21,000 moved in. Net out-migration averaged about 3,800 residents leaving our city. In 2021, both out-migration, with 21,700 leaving, and in-migration, with 19,000 coming in, slowed. Movement to and from the lower 48 represents the highest share of Anchorage's migration. The top destinations for Alaskans moving outside are Washington, Texas, California, Florida, and Arizona, our competitors. As Alaska's largest population center, these states likely also represent the top destinations for those leaving Anchorage. The most challenging population issue Anchorage faces, however, is the loss of our 18 to 64 year old working age population, which fell by 15,000 since the beginning of the statewide recession in 2015. Lower in migration of working age people has contributed most to this decline. Annually, about 17,000 working age people moved to Anchorage between 2010 and 2015, compared to 14,000 between 2015 and 2020. Loss of working age population constrains Anchorage's available labor force, leaving significant numbers of available jobs unfilled and employers scrambling for solutions. However, not all migration to and from Anchorage is between our city and the lower 48. Between 2020 and 2021, 2,932 people moved from Anchorage to the Matsu Valley, while 1,517 moved from the Matsu to Anchorage, resulting in a net loss of 1,415 residents. Historically, Anchorage's economy has run countercyclical to the lower 48 economy. Whether this pattern holds as the country emerges from the pandemic, experiences 40-year high rates of inflation, and gears up for five years or more of significant infrastructure investments remains to be seen. The strength of Anchorage's economy relative to the rest of the nation will dictate the community's ability to retain and attract residents in the near term. Now, AEDC anticipates moderate population declines again in 2022. The Anchorage population is expected to stabilize at around 288,500 residents over this three-year forecast period based on recent declines in the rates of out-migration and the lower death rates as COVID-19 impacts subside. Thank you for watching this installment of the AEDC video series for the 2022 three-year economic outlook. We want to thank our generous sponsors, McKinley Alaska Private Investment LLC and North Rim Bank for sponsoring this video series. And we appreciate your time and attention.